My name's Emily Jackson from Great Family Adventure, and today I'm gonna to share with you five of my favorite things to do while visiting Florida. When visiting Florida, you obviously cannot ignore the beaches. I mean, the beaches are just amazing, and there's so many different styles and types of beaches all across Florida. So if you're planning on visiting Florida, definitely do some research because there's so many different beaches and types of beaches, and they're honestly, they're beautiful, they're amazing. And the kids highlight, no matter what we do, no matter how amazing, it always seems to be that they talk the most about going and visiting the beach. Not to mention, who doesn't want a beach day? One of my personal favorite things to do while visiting Florida is to go hunting for seashells. I didn't know, but Fort Myers is actually the capital of seashells uh, throughout the world. So it was something wild and crazy. I didn't even know this place existed until doing a little bit of research, but you're literally walking on shells that you would you know, collect anywhere else in any given second for miles. So for a whole section of you know, beachfront, you're walking amongst the most beautiful shells I've ever seen. So for me, that was really special. And it's something I absolutely love to do. And it's something the whole family can engage and partake in is seashell hunting. So when visiting Florida, definitely check out uh, Sanibel Island in Fort Myers for some seashell hunting. Another thing you have to do when you visit Florida is visit the springs. Now, there are so many different springs to choose from. There are crystal springs. There are so many different ones all across Florida. But visiting the springs is actually really cool. And visiting the different ones is really cool because each one is unique in their own way. So my family got, and I got hooked on visiting springs uh, on one of our first trips down to Florida. And ever since, we don't go to Florida without visiting another spring. Each spring is really unique. You can go visit manatees, you can go kayaking, go sup boarding. There's all sorts of different attractions at each of the different springs. As they're all set up differently, I definitely recommend doing your research to figure out which ones allow your own personal watercraft and which ones allow you to get up close and paddle near some manatees. One of my favorite things to do in Florida is eat. I know that sounds silly, but at the same time, when you're looking forward to good food at the end of the day or midday, it really adds a whole nother layer of adventure and excitement when it comes to visiting a new place. So for me and my family, a lot of times when we're hiking or paddling or doing different things, I'll entice the kids to push a little harder or walk a little further by saying, but don't forget, we're going to this really awesome restaurant later. So if you wanna be able to get ice cream, you know, let's push through this hike. And it tends to work. Florida in general has some really good food. If you're not a seafood person, don't worry. They have tons of varieties of different food. There's good Mexican, there's good just about anything. I was really pleasantly surprised at all the mom and pop style places. You can get gator bites, you know, different things like that to just add to an element of adventure when you're visiting these places. Last but not least, when visiting Florida, totally disembody the fact that it's okay to be a tourist. So we've talked about visiting springs, we've talked about visiting beaches. You know, I love being outside in the outdoors and not necessarily at a tourist attraction, but at the same time, when you have a small kid, they tend to remember those big balloons and colors and different things that are definitely tourist traps, but at the same time, can be really fun for the kids. The trick for enjoying yourself at these tourist attractions is just to remember that it's just for the day, it's just for fun. And you'll be surprised how much fun you can have also. So like for me, I'm not a big fan of like paying to go do putt-putt or different things, but when I act excited and the kids are so excited, we end up having a great family fun day visiting these different style tourist traps. 80 degrees in January, not complaining. <laughs> When I talk about a tourist trap, I mean like putt-putt golf and different elements like that. You know, whether it's roller coaster rides or theme parks or, you know, splash pads or different things like that where it's not necessarily as engaged in the outdoors, but it's a way for you guys to enjoy the outdoors with an added element of excitement for the kids. Some of my favorite tourist traps to do with the kids are putt-putt golfing. And when we were in Florida, one of my favorite ones was to go putt-putt golfing, but the kids also got to feed these baby alligators. So that was really fun. And while it was just a minute of the trip, like the feeding the gators wasn't like a big part of our vacation, but the kids talk about it all the time. So definitely don't undervalue all these little things because in the end, it might be just what the kids tend to talk about and tell all their friends. Last but not least, when visiting Florida, I would say be sure to do some research because it's completely overwhelming with the sheer amount of things to do. So if there's something that you particularly enjoy or you're looking forward to, 
be sure to do a little research on the front end so you can look at what is the best seafood restaurant, you know, where is the best seashell hunting, different things like that, uh, best family friendly beaches. It'll really help you uh, narrow down your list of where you wanna go and help you come up with a great plan.